Hi everyone. Um, this is update for um, May eighth, Saturday. Um, so from this morning, they, as I mentioned, they did forget to call me on rounds. Um, so I called the hospital back, and um, then they said they'd call me. And the doctor called, Dr. I don't remember, but a lovely, lovely gal. And um, so she updated me on a bunch of things and uh, I was able to ask her questions, uh, specific questions that I had. And, you know, indeed, um, Mike is worsening and um, she said that from her experience, sorry, my feet are sticking to this chair. It's kind of, um, so from her experience, it's, uh, so she's, I don't know. She said people get, they get the positive result and they get sick. And then usually, uh, like some people will crash really fast and others, kind of like look like they're getting a little bit better uh, and then they either recover or they uh, crush hard um, usually around the week ish or so mark because um, when Mike first came into hospital here in Edmonton he looked not too too bad I guess um, and uh, you know there were I was really happy because there's positive days there and this is just the progression of the virus um, not that that makes it any better for me but um, you know I still worry but if in my mind if this is like a trending thing uh, you know that it, you get worse and then to me anyway, that also means there's that possibility of, of getting better too. And that's what I'm going to hang on to. Um, tomorrow's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful women out there, mothers, grandmothers, mothers-to-be. And to my dear, wonderful mother-in-law. I can't imagine what she's going through. Um, as a wife, it breaks my heart enough, but a mother's love, there's nothing like it. And a mother's stress, there's nothing like it. <laughs> um, I love you, Millie, very much. You've been a kind and wonderful support. The whole, you all have. Um, I just want you to know how much I love you and care about you. And to my own mother, thank you for being there for me. And to Shirley, your support, your messages keep me going. Well, all, all of the messages from you all keep me going um, because it does feel very alone. Anyway, um, flowers there from my gr my grandson, one of my grandsons. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, back to Mike. Um, so he is in prone therapy. Uh, back on fully sedation, you know, full, he's being fully sedated, and um, they're trying to look at why some of his lab work and his heart rate and all of that what like why they're seeing the values they are he'll have a chest x-ray i think again this afternoon and um i was supposed to call the nurse back at three and i forgot so i'm going to do that because i didn't ask the doctor i didn't even think about it but i asked about other medications, like if there's anything else we can do, uh, remdesivir, 
ivermectin, um, anything at all. What I find interesting though is when I was looking at the medication, the Actemra, um, for COVID treatment, it says to have a dose every four weeks and the doctor didn't seem to know about it, but she's, and, but then she said, well, I don't know if that's just, we haven't done a second treatment because we didn't, we don't have a drug to give. So that's possible. And I'm hoping that she will actually search that out or maybe I will do that and try to send it along. I don't want to be pushy, but at the same time, this is my husband's life. So just got to do what I can, whether they like it or not, I guess. And uh, we'll secure that second dose um, for him. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. I don't, I, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. And um, this is where I sit today. This is the reality of COVID. And I heard Again, another, some protest for some restaurant or some, I don't know what it was. And it just made me angry. Shake your head, people, like, get a good grip. Because this could be you. It could be you. So when you're talking and yelling at the police or doing whatever you're doing, just open your eyes. Stop being ignorant. This can be you. That's all for now. Bye.